Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to advertise a church event, and we're gonna talk about the best way to get the word out. Should you use direct mail? Should you use social media? We're gonna talk about it in this video, coming up. Hey, what's up? Before meeting for the first time, my name's Chris Abbott, but all my friends just call me Abbo. And in this channel, we help you with everything church growth, Facebook ads, plan your visit, and everything related to growing your church and reaching more people. Our goal is to help you make it hard for people to go to hell from your city. All right, so in this video, we're gonna outline a strategy that you can use in order to be able to advertise your church events. And the first thing that we always get asked is, hey, should we be using direct mail, right? A lot of churches are gonna use direct mail for Christmas Eve or for Easter, or maybe for a back to school event. And what we tell them is no, Absolutely not, never use direct mail. In fact, around here, instead of direct mail, we actually call it direct fail, okay? Direct mail doesn't work. In fact, there are apartment complexes and condos all over the country that have put out giant trash cans just because direct mail has become such a problem and people litter the floor with all their direct mail. So think about it, you're spending five, 10, 15, $20,000 on a mail piece and all of these places are out there putting out giant trash bins just so people can throw away your direct mail piece so they don't have to take it home with them. That's why direct mail is absolutely a fail. So we don't ever recommend using direct mail. Instead, you should be taking those advertising dollars you would have spent on a mailer and put them into Facebook and Instagram ads. We're gonna outline a strategy here to be able to use Facebook and Instagram ads to promote all of your church events. And the best part is you can use this for your Sunday morning services as well. All right, so let's dive in. All right, so when you're advertising your church events, you basically wanna do three things. Build an attractive offer, tell the world about it, and then sweep people off their feet when they show up. Okay, so building attractive offer, that's gonna be your event itself and everything that's going on at the event. Telling the world about it, that's gonna be your marketing. And then sweeping them off their feet when they show up, that's gonna be your hosting. Step one, we're gonna create something I call an event stack. Okay, an event stack is basically uh, one main item, then you're gonna have three to five fun family things, and then you're gonna have free food. All right, so let's do an example. Let's say that you are creating a fall festival. Okay, what you wanna do for your main event is just gonna be the fall festival itself, right? That's big enough for a main event. And then your three to five fun family things are gonna be carnival games, hay rides, bounce houses, and face painting. I'm a big fan of face painting because it costs almost next to nothing to get face painting supplies and you can plug in your volunteers. So if you have any volunteers who are creative and really good with this kind of stuff, even a lot of people from the youth group, they're perfect to plug them in and do face painting. And what kid doesn't love having their face painted whenever they go out to a fall festival? And then finally, we're gonna do free candy because what kid doesn't love a ton of candy at the fall festival? All right, now when putting together your event stack, don't forget the three Fs and that's fun, family, and food. Okay, so now that you have your event stack created for your event, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna create a Facebook ad that's gonna drive people to a landing page that tells people about the event. So we recommend doing a Facebook video ad, about 15 to 30 seconds long. Selfie videos work way better than anything else. So you actually wanna hold your phone vertically instead of holding it horizontally. And although this sounds counterintuitive, I promise this works, you don't wanna actually shoot this on a professional DSLR or you don't wanna have uh, background music or lower thirds or logos or anything like that. You want this to look like you just picked up your phone, recorded a quick video, and then threw it onto Facebook. I promise it will outperform any professional video every single time. It'll probably outperform it at least five to one. So if you don't believe me, go test this, and I promise the selfie video is gonna work every single time. Okay, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna set up your targeting and budget. This is where a lot of churches get this wrong. The problem with targeting on Facebook is there are so many different options, it's easy to get your audience size way too small. So I see this all the time, a lot of churches come to me and say, hey Chris, my ad's not working, my cost per click is through the roof, what's going on? And I'll take a look at it, and pretty much every single time, it's they set up the targeting incorrectly, right? So the problem with Facebook is you can actually go in there and you can say, okay, we wanna show our ad to everyone who lives within one mile of the church, who's between the ages of 33 and 34, who has three kids who are between the ages of four and 12. While that sounds awesome, there's probably only about 50 people who meet that criteria. So now you're running your Facebook ad to 50 people and a ton of them probably don't care about your event or they already have a church of their own. So what you actually wanna do is you wanna craft your Facebook ad, write the ad copy, write your headline, write it to the people that you're trying to reach. If that's specifically a 35 year old married female who has kids, perfect. Write to one person, but leave your targeting wide open. So you actually just wanna drop a pin on your church. You can actually go into the back of the Facebook ads manager. You can type in the address of your church, drop a pin, and then pull it out to whatever driving distance is. In my church in Tulsa, that's about 15 miles is driving distance. Anything farther than that, people will tend to find a church closer to home. So whatever it is for your city, drop a pin on your church, throw it out to whatever driving distance is, 10, 15 miles, maybe 20 or 30 if you're in a rural area, and you wanna leave the targeting wide open. Target everyone who lives 
lives within driving distance of your church and is between the ages of 18 and 65 plus. Don't worry about targeting parents or kids or any type of interest targeting. Leave it wide open and just target everyone who lives within driving distance of your church, 18 to 65 plus. I promise you'll get a much better result. Okay, so what are your favorite of the three Fs? Comment below, let us know some of the things you like to do revolving free food, family, fun. Comment below, we'll put some of our favorite ones down there. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Okay, so after setting up your target, what should you do on your budget? Honestly, this is up to you. Every church is different, every budget's different. We recommend running at least five to $10 a day if you can. And if you have the budget for it, I'll tell you, there's kind of this magic tipping point that happens at $30 a day. I don't know what it is. I, I think Facebook's algorithm starts to reward you for spending more money on their platform, but there's kind of this sticking point or this magic tipping point at $30 a day where Facebook starts to show your ad to more people for less money. So whatever it is, depending on your budget, the most important thing is just to stay consistent and keep that budget budget for the majority of the time that you're running it and then raise it about a week out. So if you are looking at a fall festival, we recommend running it two weeks out. For the first week, you might run it at $10 a day. And then for the second week leading up to it, you're going to double the budget to $20 a day. So whatever it is, just have a starting budget and then the second week, double it. Okay, step four, you're gonna build out a custom landing page on your website. Now, this is really important. You don't wanna send them to your homepage or your about page or your new here page. You wanna send them to a custom landing page that only talks about your event. So if it's a fall festival, the only thing that's gonna be on there is about the fall festival. And make sure to put your event stack on there, right? Talk about the fall festival and the bounce houses and the hay rides and the carnival games and free candy for all the kids. Talk about how much fun. If you have pictures, maybe from last year's event, you can throw that on there. And then you have wanna have one call to action and that's plan your visit. Okay, so create a custom landing page. It only talks about the fall festival. Pictures are great. Uh, you wanna use small snack size information. And what we mean by that is you're gonna use headlines, uh, sub headlines. You wanna use a lot of bullet points. You wanna make it easily scannable so somebody could pull this up on their phone real quick from their Facebook ad. They could scan it real quickly and they would know exactly what day it is, what time it is, and everything that their kid can expect when they show up. And finally, step five, plan your visit. You wanna make the call to action on your landing page, plan your visit. You wanna tell people in your ad to make sure they plan a visit. That way they submit their name, email, and phone number and you can actually reach out to them and answer any questions they have before the event. This also gives you the opportunity to be able to use their information to follow up afterwards and invite them to church, right? So you can plug them into a follow-up system using something like Text and Church and create kind of an invite campaign that's completely automated through Text and Church. But this is really, really important. That way people aren't just showing up and they never come back again. You wanna invite everyone to plan their visit to your event so that you can follow up with them before and then you can follow up with them afterwards and invite them to church. So we actually had a church that did this and actually did this exactly for their fall festival. It was a church of about 120 people and they spent $61 on Facebook ads and that church of 120 had over 500 people show up to their fall festival. This stuff works and it doesn't take a lot of money. In fact, that same church used this framework again a few weeks later for their pictures with Santa outreach that they were doing and that church of 120 spent $78 on Facebook ads and had 47 new visitors show up to a single Sunday morning service. Not too bad, right? Now, if you wanna learn more about this strategy and how to use Facebook ads to get people to your church, you can actually check out the video right over here, how to market your church for growth.